So I think the city is unrecognisable from that which I got to know over a decade ago when I joined the City Council as the Chief Executive. Just think about some of the highlights, and there's been so many, but Frygate, uh, an amazing change around by the railway station, including our own new HQ and so much more still to come. Broadgate, I'm really proud of the changes that have been made there over the last 10 years and you know, really just physically reimagining that space. I guess I'm really proud of the work that's been done on the restaurant quarter because a lot of people thought that would never happen. And then of course we think about the amazing universities and Coventry and work has gone from strength to strength. It's been really phenomenal. Jaguar Land Rover, as many of our companies, but Jaguar Land Rover particularly was in really difficult circumstances 10 years ago, which has gone from strength to strength. But I guess really the biggest highlight for me in terms of the city has been our victory uh, when we were awarded the UK City of Culture for 2021. That was a game changer for everybody in the city and we've been looked over and looked through so many times. So to get that uh, award was absolutely phenomenal. So I've really been reflecting on the City Council and kind of how much we've changed, also been challenged over the 10 years that I've been here. And you know, the context of this, of course, is when I first joined us, that was basically the global crash. And then we saw the start of austerity uh, in terms of central government funding. And we've lost in that time over half of our revenue spending power, if you like. So in that context, and having to have got small as an organisation, we should be rightfully proud of the amazing work that the City Council has done. Not just for the city in terms of all those great changes, but also the services that we provide. Think about the challenges, but also the great change that's happened from us working from different offices, including our new one at Friday. Broadgate is a new opportunity for customers to really access us in the way that works for them and so on. Really big change to our organisation. But the truth is, of course, all of this has only happened as a result of some phenomenal hard work, pride, commitment, and above all, I would say, a kind of track record of delivery, not just talking, but getting on and doing the job. And that comes from our colleagues at all levels of the organisation. Some amazing, strong, bold political leadership over those years. And also our partners across the city and the wider region who have stood shoulder to shoulder in our success over the last 10 years. And one of the final things I'm incredibly proud of, and it's a benchmark that we were able to be shortlisted for the incredibly prestigious LGC Council of the Year. You know, we came up just short to a great council in Wigan, but the credibility for us to be up there in that kind of company, and alongside that, when I arrived 10 years ago, we had to go to other places, other cities, to be able to find out what the best in practice was and the best in class was. Now we know Week on week, we get people from other parts of the UK and internationally that are coming here to Coventry to find out how we've done what we've done, and we should all be incredibly proud of them. Of course, all of these great successes and accolades that have come our way, both as a city council and as a city over the last 10 years, have only been possible because of the commitment, the pride, and I would say the real focus on delivery by our colleagues in the City Council at every single level of the organisation. It was a real privilege for me to get the Chief Executive job of Coventry City Council back in 2009. And I can honestly say now, in 2019, 10 years on, I'm more energised and focused on the next steps for this City Council and the city I've ever been before.